Day four of the small account challenge was the fourth win in a row. But once again, I made some mistakes. So stick around. <laughs> Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben. Today is day four of the Small Account Day Trading Challenge. If you want to follow the Day Trading Challenge, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I also live stream my trades when I make them, so you'll get notifications when I'm going live. Day four was another win, four wins in a row, but I left some money on the table, made some mistakes, didn't lock in profit when I should have. So let's dive into it. Open NNDM is coming out hot. I'd rather wait and see if this has a pullback and then maybe we get a little U shape or something for an entry. Because $2 is going to hold up as some strong resistance. Like I said, I want to wait for a pattern to come to us. Okay, so here we go. A little pullback. So $2 did hold up. That's what we want to see. Nice drop back down to the VWAP. NNDM with a nice drop off. So if that dropping off nothing else is going on all the volume should be on s or c e t x so that's what we're gonna sit here and watch wait for some type of there's a lot of buying volume coming in i think i'm gonna go here Let's see where i get filled at i got filled at 197 now my stop loss is going to be uh, under the vwap there well, let's see if we break two dollars here we started kind of getting a u-shape and the U-shape might not have formed all the way yet. I may have jumped the gun, but I saw a lot of buying volume come in. Like I said, we wanted to stay above this VWAP. As long as we're above this VWAP, we're fine to hold this. Like I said, 190 should be pretty strong support. Because we got the VWAP and the pre-market high there. Ooh, drop down. We want to stay above this VWAP though. I don't like, I don't like it dropping down that low. Okay, we're touching $2. Big seller at $2. We expected that. Now, we got those $2 bids, or those $2 sell orders out. Let's see if this guy can climb. Back right down to 195 $2 is really holding up strong on this. But if we break $2 nice and strong, this should go on a nice run. It's holding up stronger than I was expecting. Okay, there we go. A little pop through $2. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little pop up, and we're right back down. But 211. Now we got room to go all the way to 380, but I don't want to get greedy today. So let's see. Let's look back on this past chart. 215 is going to be a little resistance. 215. Big buyer at 208. I'd like to at least see 225 on this. Let's we'll see this guy go. Still not quite going like I thought it was going to rip because this is a 3 million float. 3 million in float stock. Like, when it has a big break, it should really have a big break. I mean, our, we're only 13 cents above $2. We should be getting a lot bigger run. And we're starting to move here some more. Probably lock in at 225. You know, we start getting a little U shape here. This could be good. We don't want it to crash out too hard. Ooh, right back below the VWAP there. I don't want this to drop too much. We want to stay above this VWAP and keep kind of making this U shape here. Mmm, dropping down to $2. Back down to the VWAP. It's got to hold up here. We need $2 in a VWAP to hold up. Let's see, do we have a bit of a trend line forming? Maybe. So we may have a trend line here. And we definitely don't want it to get any lower than that trend line, but we really want it to get back above the VWAP here. We don't want it below the VWAP. Back up in that 215, 220 area. I'm probably going to lock out. Back above this VWAP now, so that's good. 218 on this stock is not, like that being the high is not that crazy. It's not that big of a move. I feel like it's got a lot more than 218. Uh, we're right up to 215, so let's see what happens here. That's, uh, it's a little too fast of a move. I wasn't expecting that. And 215 held up again. Like I think I really do feel feel like that this play has more than 218 as a high. Like it's a good play. It's low float. They got a 1.5 million uh, security order for border control. So and we're back down to the trend line and the VWAP here. So ooh, it holds up here. We should get another bounce, and that should be the final bounce to break that 215. Because that'll be the third touch of 215. If it doesn't. Then I will probably lock out. 
It's a little bounce so far. It needs to bounce a little harder. It needs to go up a little bit more. We want it to get off of this trend line some. We don't want it bouncing on the trend line and the VWAP too much because it's testing that support every time it does that. And we need it up there testing resistance, not support. That was scary for a minute, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was getting real nervous there. Like I keep saying, I'm really expecting more out of this. I think we can get to 225. So here soon, in the next couple of minutes, we should be getting uh, something. We should either be moving up, should be breaking that 215, or we're going to be dropping out. A lot of, we're back up to 215. A lot of selling there. Oh, there we go. There goes the pop through the 215. Finally. Finally you break 215. You dirty girl, you. Now, let's see here. We got right up to 225. That's where I said I wanted to sell at. Man, I don't want to be greedy. I want to see here. If we break through 225, we should move up to 250. But the... The thing is, we had such a long build-up to that break of 215. I feel like we can get more, and there we go. Yeah, like I, that's what I was saying. This this build-up that we had, we should get a nice move out of. Right back down to 225, though. That was a quick pop to 230. So that makes me nervous that it's not getting the moves. Like it's getting moves. It's moving, but it's not getting the moves that. It, I'm expecting it's not getting that big big pop I just don't want to take a loss on this small account especially when I've been up this whole time I should have locked in when I had the profit kind of cracking that trend line there I feel like the stock is getting kind of weaker because we've not gotten that big break yet and I'm just gonna keep my finger on the trigger in case we start going in case we start dropping and the, and the trend line is right here too now. The trend line is right here at this resistance. So this stock is either going up or down here in the next minute. Like it's either going to have a nice pop or a nice drop. One of the two is about to happen. Okay, 215 is on the timing sales. Let's see it on the bid. So 208 is where that bottom of that trend line is. And there's a lot, there's a big buyer holding it up there on the trend line. But if that cracks, this stock is... Mmm... And he's, there's a lot, a lot of people are getting taken out. And guys, I'm going to get out here. The big buyer at 208 started getting taken out. And if this stock can't hold up here, it's going to crash. It's a small win again, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, I should I should have locked in, but I'm not going to dwell on it when I had the profit. All right, so you can see here, buy 400 of CETX at 197, 9.40 a.m. Eastern, and then sell 400 CETX at 208, 10.55 a.m. Eastern. Well, as you saw, it was a win, but it wasn't the best execution. I didn't lock in my profits when I had them, and I didn't stick to my strategy. But I do these videos and these live streams so you guys can learn from my mistakes as well as my successes. So that's it for day four of the Small Account Day Trading Challenge. If you missed one of the early episodes, click the playlist here to catch up on those. Stay tuned for day five. I'm your host, Ben. You've been watching Framework Fortune.